Hi, my name is Maisie Bitzlar and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. Thanks for clicking on this video. Thanks for supporting the channel. So today I've just been in quarantine, so I thought I'd film a video for you guys. Recently I've been loving like the trends I've been seeing of like the dewy skin and the red lip. I've been on a ski season recently, so I haven't been wearing too much makeup. And also coming back, like wanting to get, you know, a tan. So I've really been liking the natural look recently. But at the same time, I know quarantine is going to be ending soon and people are going to meet, be meeting up for like barbecues and drinks and whatever else. I can't fucking wait. And I feel like this will be like a nice like makeup to to wear to like some of those events so i thought i'd kind of put together like something more on the natural side you know natural glowy skin but then also add a bit of glam with like a little bit of the glitter and the statement lip so if you want to see how i got this makeup then same thing so i'm gonna start with some moisturizer this one's from the body shop it's water-based i believe so it's good for people with oily skin so I'm just gonna dot that around my face. It's really important to moisturize before you put on foundation because you want the foundation to kind of melt into your skin. So I'm just putting that all over my face. See, it makes my skin look super radiant. By the way, I'm doing my video outside. I thought it'd be nice to use natural daylight since recently it's been like super nice outside. Anyway, so I've put that on my face, nice and radiant. Um, I don't actually use a primer. I know a lot of people use primers, but I feel like I've used them in the past and I never really know if they work. So I feel like they're just a waste of money. So I've, recently I've been not really using a primer. Um, I find that just making sure your base is nice and moisturized and hydrated usually does the job. So like next I'm taking the Iconic London Setting Spray, Prep Set Glow even. And I like the one that is bronze. I might put that on my body as well. It's got like gold flecks in it, which makes you like super glowy and shiny. So you can see that on my skin. I don't really know what I'm gonna do today, but I've got a few products um, that I've picked out. When I do wear makeup, I've been really into wearing like kind of natural looking skin. So today I think I'm gonna go for like a very dewy base and maybe a red lip because I'm just feeling a bit. I'm just gonna put some lip balm on because my lips are dry as hell. Now I'm going to put some concealer on my face to kind of just cover some blemishes and apologies if I keep looking over here it's because that's where my mirror is I'm still trying to work out the best setup anyway I'm just putting it over some blemishes and under my eyes that means that you can just put less foundation on um, usually I kind of do it the other way around but because we're going for a really like dewy like barely any makeup look I'm going to put some concealer on first so yeah, put that on my, under my eyes. Now I'm gonna put on some foundation. So I'm gonna be using the EX1 foundation. I've not used this foundation in literally like forever. Um, I feel like con I'm constantly going on holiday or doing this and doing that. So like, ooh, my voice. I feel like I'm constantly like going here, then everywhere, like with different climates. So my skin's constantly changing. Um, so I find that I don't really have, I'm actually on the paler side now, like I've got a tiny, tiny bit of a tan, which is nice. But obviously, I said, been on the ski season, so I've been looking super pale. So the current foundation I usually wear, like I've not really been wearing now. Um, so I'm just going to use this. I don't know how it's going to go because it's been a while, but I hope it'll be alright. I'm just going to put some of that on the back of my hand. And as I said, I want it to be like quite dewy. So I don't actually want to put on that much. I want it to be like very skin like. So I'm just using what brush is this? It's a Morphe M439 brush, like round kabuki brush. It is fucking sick. It's really good for blending a foundation out. You've probably seen it all over fucking YouTube. Make sure you can get down the neck. You don't want to be walking around with that line like a lot of people do. And don't get me wrong, I have been guilty of it. Really blend that in. Yeah, I've forgotten how much I actually really like this foundation. It's like, it's quite, it's like medium coverage, but it's quite light on the skin. It's a perfect one to wear like during this time, like spring, summertime. So I've done my base now, so I'm gonna do use concealer. Um, same one I used before. I didn't even mention it. Sorry, it's the Mac. 
Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer, which I actually really like. The NARS, what is it called? The NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I don't really know what it is. That's usually my favorite one. Um, but I've got this one recently. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. I don't want to use too much because again I just want it to be like quite dewy and glowy and not cakey and then I'm just gonna blend that up with a beauty blender beautiful beautiful so I use the RCMA powder this is not my favorite powder I will say to you my favorite powders have run out unfortunately so the Laura Mercier obviously everyone knows about that that's a really good powder and the EX1 powder is probably my favorite this is such good value it's, it does the job to be honest and it's 10 pounds for all of this product if you're not willing to you know spend like 40 quid on a powder i would definitely recommend this one i'm using this brush which is morphe e25 and i'm just gonna put a tad of that underneath my eyes and as i said we want this to be a really glowy look um, so I'm not actually going to use too much powder. If I were to go out on a night out, I usually use quite a bit more powder just because, you know, you're dancing, you're sweating, you want to make sure that everything's locked in place. Um, whereas for this look, more of a daytime look, I don't think it's really necessary. And I think, yeah, as I said, the dewy things obviously are really nice. I'm going to take this brush from Bill Techniques, I'm not sure what the number is on the name of it, sorry, but it's, I feel like everyone knows this brush anyway, and I'm just going to pat that into the skin, and I think that is actually enough powder for us today. Now obviously I said I want it to be like a proper dewy look, so I'm going to add some this NARS like illuminator, I've had this for like fucking years, but I actually really like it, I like it putting under your foundation, I like it mixed with your foundation, and even on top of your foundation is quite nice. Um, and I feel like, yeah, it just gives you that really natural radiant glow. Take like a pea size amount on your finger like that. That might even be too much. And I'm just gonna dot that on my face. And I'm going to use my finger to blend that out. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. And maybe a bit on the top of my brows. Lovely. See how that makes you glow. I'm gonna be taking some contour. <coughs> Coronavirus! So I'm taking the Hula bronzer by Benefit. Um, love this bronzer. I literally, this is probably one of the first makeup products I ever bought um, when I was like 13. And I just literally just did not like it. I guess I just didn't know how to use it, but like I use it as like an all over bronze and I felt like it was quite cool toned. I remember just like having it for ages and not using it and then literally like five six years later i went back to it and i was like this is fucking lit like why the fuck have i not been using this so i'm just gonna take a bit of that bronzer tap off the excess and just kind of go follow the natural contour of my cheek a little bit more oh, i must say that this combination is my favorite combination for contour bronzer and shimmery bronzer i've been using it for years a lot of people always ask like what highlight i'm using and i actually don't use a highlight this is the combination i just always use and have been using for years and i get so many compliments on it i always look like glowy um but it's not like too much if you know you're looking for like a contour bronzer um combination and you haven't found one that you really like that's like nice and shimmery but also quite natural i would definitely recommend this one so next I'm taking the MAC Give Me Some Bronzer, which, come on, everybody uses, I feel like. And I'm just gonna lightly tap it over my cheekbone. This is to give like more warmth as opposed to the contour that gives a bit more definition. And then on the top of my head as well. I feel like I'm so over this quarantine. I've not been I've come back from Canada where I'd be where I was literally gone for so long and I've come back and I've not even been able to see my friends and it's just been so annoying. But I've recently booked a holiday um to Miami with my girls, which is something to look forward to at least. 
because at the moment there's literally nothing keeping me going other than that and next i'm gonna take my mac gold deposit bronzer the shimmery one this is just i fucking love this stuff i'm just gonna use the same brush again and now i'm gonna focus it mainly on the actual like cheekbone itself because that's where it kind of catches the light and a little bit on my cheeks to really make me feel like a bronzed goddess i'm gonna do blusher and i'm gonna be using this mac blush i can't even see the name of it anymore that's how crusty it is i've literally had it for the longest time and it's pretty broken but it's a nice color it's like an orangey peach color which is perfect for this look um, so I'm just going to kind of get as much out of that as I can and just kind of dust that over my cheeks. It's nice and shimmery also to match with the shimmery bronzer. To have it all put together, I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and just pat that all in. And make sure everything is blended. So now we finish the skin, which is lit. I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. I usually do like quite a heavy brow if I'm going out, but as I said recently, I've not really been wearing intense makeup and I feel like this skin is like quite dewy and natural. So like, I'm probably gonna do more of a natural brow today. But to do my brows, I actually use a shadow. I've used dip brows in the past. I've used pencils. I really like pencils, but I find that for more of a natural brow, a powder is quite good. My roots are quite dark at the minute. I'm usually blonde, I've been blonde for like literally my whole life. Um, but I went for a balayage recently and then obviously went to Canada and then this quarantine happened so I haven't been able to go to the salon. And my brown hair's like growing out. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm kind of feeling it. I don't think I'm gonna go back blonde or at least for a long time. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for this to grow out. But maybe just have a little bit of like light blonde through the ends, but keep most of it brown, which is kind of weird because no one's ever known me as a brown hair. But I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm gonna take quite a dark brown shadow to match the top of my head. And I'm gonna use a mirror to do my brows. Otherwise, because this mirror is just too far away, I'll just fuck them up. So, I'm just following the natural line. Again, I want them quite natural, so I'm not really gonna fill them in too much. I'm just gonna leave them like that, where I've just pretty much filled in the ends. Usually when I'm going out, I do the whole shebang, carve out the eyebrows, but I'm going for a more natural look today. So on the eyes, I'm just gonna kind of pat over um, some powder onto my lids to kind of set whatever foundation I've put um, on my lids. And I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush, this one's from Morphe M504. I'm gonna take the contour um, Hula bronzer and I'm just gonna lightly wash color through my um, lids, so very easy. I often like using colors um, and products that I've used on my face as well, because I think it's, it ties it together quite nicely. So I'm gonna take that and just go in the crease. And our other side, very natural. I just want to follow the natural contour of my line to just kind of make my eyes more defined but not really look like I'm wearing too much. And then with the ends, I just kind of wing it out to give that fox eye effect. And I'm just going to run some underneath as well. I hope there's not too much of a shadow because the sun is moving but whatever nice um again very natural don't want too much going on next this is the exciting bit i'm using mac reflex bronze it's kind of like a glitter slash pigment and i'm just going to kind of dust that over my eyes i don't want it concentrated um i want it literally just a wash of color i'm just gonna pat that onto my eye. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how fucking amazing that is? I'm just gonna press that over my lid. Again, it's a bit concentrated for what I'm going for today. So I'm just gonna get that same brush and just kind of tap it over my lid. And again, I kind of want it to be washed through the crease as well. I think that's will create quite a nice effect. And I'm just, just a glowing goddess maybe just a bit more and there we have it i'm just going to take this fluffy brush and take off the excess underneath nice 
I'm going to take an eyeliner. I'm going to do a very small thin wing because I just want to give that fox eye effect. But again, I'm not, I don't want to be wearing it too much or, you know, it'd be too intense. Again, I'm gonna have to use the mirror to make sure it's precise because the mirror's so far away, I'll be getting it all wonky and shit. So I've done my eyeliner. Don't be too stressed if they're slightly different because let's be honest, are we ever gonna get it perfect? No. Um, so I'm gonna put get some mascara and just run them through my lashes. This is the MAC Extended Plague and this is the best mascara I've ever used. I've used it for a few years now and I've never gone back, I've never changed. I've used some other ones in the past, which I still will say are good, but it's definitely the best one I've ever used. So if you've run out of your mascara and you're looking for one that is lit, that's gonna make your lashes long, spidery, um, then this is one you should try. Please look at the difference of that. Now I'm going to just put some brow gel through my brows. Recently I've been really loving the soap brow trend. Usually I just buy like a brow gel. I find that usually my brows end up kind of falling down by the end of the night. I've seen this soap brow trend, I thought, fuck it, I've got bar of soap, why not try it out? I think it's sick and it, it honestly makes them not move, it makes them fluffy, it makes them nice, keeps them in place. Definitely give it a try if I were you. So I kind of just spread it through the front to give that really like fluffy look and then kind of bring it down. So it gives the illusion that you've got thick, bushy brows. Again. Oh, fuck. Again. Go through the front. And drag it down the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god, now we're basically finished. Um, the last thing is the lips, which is obviously the bit that makes it pop. So I'm going to be using today the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I really like this. I prefer liquid lipstick personally just because it doesn't move. I've used like a various different type of liquid lipstick um, and just normal lipstick. And I've not really found like the perfect um, formula and colour. So I really love this one. I love it because it's very orangey. So it gives like a, it's very vibrant. I know for a lot of people the darker shades would be better for them. Whereas, I don't know, if you're like similar to me, like similar, like maybe complexion, this would be good for you, I reckon. I don't have a lip liner that matches this shade, so I'm just going to go around the top and create like an outline and then fill it in. And I think I'm going to put a gloss with it. You could wear it in that. I think either way, it would be really nice. But I just feel like putting a gloss on today. You could put on lashes if you wanted to. But again, I want it to be more kind of daytime, but still a bit glam. So you still like you're kind of put together. So like maybe like a picnic or like a brunch or, you know, day drinks like i don't know but um i paired it with this top i don't know if you can see yeah this top that is from pretty little thing um again very nice for the summer I pair it with some just some shorts just some nice jean shorts and you're good to go nice earrings and i hope you enjoyed